see if I still have something on here. Oh, uh -huh. I'm wondering if this might be um, Bonnie P. from San Jose, California, because uh, that one hasn't come in yet, so maybe. Do you want to just put a question mark with that? So if it's Bonnie P., thank you. Whoever it is, thank you. And if it's not Bonnie, maybe you can let me know um, who, who did send that. I always think the cat's like this because it's orange, and I, I like orange. And they do like it. Yeah, this one is from Roberta, and oh, Roberta's from Finley. I think this is the one. I think I know. Yeah. Too bad, Katie. Too bad I didn't get to open this before Katie um, left. These are some bags that Roberta from Finley has collected, and they're the the nylon bags with that reinforced string thing that goes through there. So. Had a bunch of dog child ones. She's. I've got all the bags sold now, but um, two of them that she has mailed us. These are all the Prina ones, so these will be good ones. And a dog child. Oh, and then we get some cat ones. Yeah, you know these last forever because they're they're nylon. Another cat child. And the Prina, the Prina. Oh, these are, oh, this will make a cool one with the pink on there with the German Shepherd and ladies. Wow. Roberta, boy, when you said you had bags, you really meant you have bags. I think you said these came from a friend of yours. Lots of cat oh, Prina ones. Yeah, I'll give these to Katie uh, the next time I see her. Oh, these are a lot of them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, wow, I can get those all in there. Okay. Thank you, Roberta. We'll, we'll make sure Katie gets these. And, uh, whoops, it says do not use box cutter. I didn't cut any. <laughs> I'll, oops, I'll make sure that uh, Katie gets these. And uh, give her a call. Maybe she can come out before next week and uh, get those to her. This one's We had a one from Quinn. And we've got this one here is another one from Amazon. Tweeny, you better be careful. You better be careful. Are you going to come help me? Oh, this, this is, um, I'm pretty sure this is the organic um, bonito plate. And I'm pretty sure that this was still on on um, Jeff's order from he. We've gotten a couple of these from him this week, and this was one that was packed separately. Yeah, cats alive love this. This is those uh, bonito tuna flakes. I use these in the morning sometimes to help the cats to get away from the counter. I spread that out and that helps them give, let me have some foot space on there. Thank you, thank you for that. Do you want to put Jeff with a question mark on that? Cool. I never knew about Bonito Flakes till what, like in the last year. And now it's like something we can't, can't do without. And this is from Glenn Cooper. Another webcam friend that says Happy Halloween on there. Holy moly, you kitties. Still using the letterbox. It says, Don't know if you or anyone at the shelter can use these. Feel free to pass around. They're coupons. And I think a whole bunch of us use coupons, so I'll put these up and uh, we'll share those out. Are you kidding? It's okay. And then this one says, just a little something to help you and your wonderful volunteers celebrate Halloween. Hope they arrive in one piece. Please give Cutter and Asha an extra hug for me. Will do. Will do, Gwen. Where is Cutter and Asha? 
Oh, Potter's sitting right here tight, Daisy. Oh. Oh, this is so nice. They're, they're, um, suckers that are made. Look at that. Happy Halloween. And uh, it, that one's a witch one with the brown and the orange. They're all the witch ones. Oh, Gwen, this is so nice of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's one. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. We'll pass those out. We, uh, a lot of times when things come like this, that's individual for, that we can pass out to the volunteers, we put them in one of the pins over there with a big sign that, that these are from the volunteers, for the volunteers and who they're from. So thank you, Gwen. I, I always doubly appreciate when, um, you guys are also aware of how wonderful our volunteers are. This, these were here last night. I forgot to open them number. They were out of sight, so I didn't see them. Uh, this is from Saline, Michigan. And, oh, oh, look at that. It just says Bella. No Bella moth, no friends of sea lions, and it still got here. I think that's pretty cool. It says, hope your day is cushioned in comfort, pillows plump, thoughts relaxed. Heart warmed with prayers and wishes made just for you. Aw, rest well and feel better soon. Bella, we just wanted to let you know that we are watching the cam every night to see how you are doing. Both of us have had surgery during our lives and know what you are going through. You are in good hands with Jackie and the volunteers, so we are sure you will feel better soon. Thinking of you and wishing you well. And it's from Indy and Cheddar, and that's Michelin's owners. And look, they put their paw prints on there. Also, isn't that cute? We'll add this. We're calling the hallway the hallway of cards, fellas cards. So we'll add this up there. And I'm telling you, people love this. They love reading all those. Thank you, Michelin, for letting your kitties write to Bella. Um, we'll get that up there on the wall. And then I'll, I'll show you guys Bella here in just a minute. Oh. <laughs> this one says, Friends of Feline Dresky Center to Her Majesty the Queen. Oh, where did you find such a picture? The picture, oh, this is cool. Picture of a cat lounging. Kind of looks like Bella with a leg up in the cat on a, on a sling. Isn't that cute? It says, get well soon, Queen Bella. Your yeah. Majesty, even though English isn't my first language, Felice is. I wanted to wish you a speedy recovery. As a former survivor of the King Cone of Shame, I realize that it can be hard to regain your dignity, but you can do so by demanding special food, toys, or, like I did, my mom's cushy bed. Love and hers, and this is from Veruca, the cam and owner of Web Camera Gwen Cooper. That is really, really cute. Check this out. That's probably what Bella felt like. And then inside, isn't that cool? The other day I was working out here and I heard we had some visitors and I heard some of them chuckling and they were in the hallway reading the cards and I just got a big kick out of that. I had some, my cheat sheet, that list of things I was going to mention and I, I lost it somewhere today. Today has been a little bit better than yesterday. This morning was still kind of crazy. Um, the guy that's doing the floor of the company, he, the best news was when he came in this morning, uh, he still said he did not have the paint, or, or not the paint, but the cork for the floor, but they were going to go ahead and start um, grinding the floor down, which made a huge mess in here. But when he, so he was went to his shop to get the color samples for us to look at again and pick a different color. When he came back, he was all smiles and he said that he found our some quartz that he had in his very own um, building. So we were all set. It was the same quartz that we wanted, the color. So we've got it. And the guys worked really, really hard stripping the floor down. But oh my gosh, even though we had both of the doors shut to those areas, it was just coming out 
it was awful. And I spent probably an hour or so out here with a bucket today just wiping things off, and we swept them up. Then swept them up twice then, and I know the water I had was dirty. So <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of time to get all that out of here. But um, the room looks, the floors look really good so far. So today what they did was they stripped it down, and then they mixed up this stuff in a bucket that got super hot, and then they poured it on there and troweled it, I guess you could say, all the way to the doors. Um, got that done in all three rooms in the new section. And then they take the quartz, it's just dry quartz, all chipped up in the colors, and it's in a bucket, and they just toss it out. It's, he said it's like feeding chickens. He just toss, toss, toss until it's covered all the way, and he makes it deeper than what it really is will stay because it absorbs down into the epoxy that they put on. And so tomorrow morning what they'll do, they're, I think he said they would be here maybe 7.30, but I'm not sure. That's pretty early for a company to come in, but maybe... Anyhow, the first thing that they do is go through and they sweep it all up and get all the extra quartz off of it. And then they mix up another bucket of the epoxy and trowel it all on and go through and do the chicken thing again and, and get more quartz on it. So tomorrow's Wednesday. And then, is tomorrow Wednesday? Yep. Yeah. And then Thursday, they come back and they sweep all the excess quartz off and then they put just a layer of the epoxy on top and leave that dry. Then Friday morning they come back and put one more layer of epoxy on it. Very different than the floor that's out here. Um, he said this thing will last forever for us. And then they will also come back, um, I'm not sure if they'll do that on Friday or not, but put the floorboards, uh, or the mop uh, boards back up for us. And then, he said that you, it's actually walkable in 12 hours, but a firm hardness is in 72 hours. He said we could actually move things back Saturday morning, but we might wait till Sunday morning to do that. So that's where we're at on the floors. The cable line that we had all that trouble for, we had three different people out with that today. We finally got the problems fixed, and that's all taken care of. Internet's back, uh, uh, although we did shut it down a little bit today. That's why we blanked out. And um, and <laughs> I got a, a phone call from Linda or Clem saying that she thought somebody said that you thought I threw a towel on the cam, and I had thought that Kurt told me I thought the cam was going off on your little one. No, it was just yesterday while I was setting up the software. Okay, well we had so much dust coming in here; it was just covered on the TV and the laptop we're using right now was covered so we put towels over the outside of it not on the laptop but on the outside of the pin that's in and I just took a towel and threw it on the the cam because I thought we were using Kurt to protect the cam from the dust and it turned out we really were filming from the or taking from that one so sorry about that and um our water line is all done, the sewer line is all done, the washers are all hooked up, and we're set. So I think we're done with all the muck and the mess and mud and everything else on all that. We, I got a letter today from Mr. and Mrs. Anonymous, which I loved very, very, very much. They're the ones who donated the gift cards for um, the, our wonderful new washer and dryer. and. They see that Mr. and Mrs. Anonymous said something about they were surprised to see me there in the parking lot when they pulled up because they wanted to just come and give the envelope to someone. But believe me, I didn't, I don't know who you are, and I was just reading the envelope that said please read at the box opening that I didn't pay any attention when I looked up you guys were gone. So you are still anonymous, and we love you for what you did for have done for us. Um, Bella's doing great. She was out a lot today, but she's really playing it smart. She's staying low and being in the uh, beds a lot. She still loves that marshmallow bed. She's just doing really good. We keep telling her she stays quiet and doesn't bounce around too much. She can stay out. The babies that's in there with her, the five of them, are doing really good. I know some of you were wondering about Zelda. Uh, she was supposed to be adopted. Probably today was the one that was going to be picked. 
uh, as the tuxedo cat to go, but the lady called me up mid-morning and said that they had a complication and could not come. So she will call us back, and uh, when she does come, we'll show her uh, Berka, Octavia, Zelda, <laughs> and um, Georgia. So she, I'm sure she would love any of those four. Octavia would keep her busy. We would really miss Octavia and all her antics that she does. Uh, let me think here. Sorry I didn't get to get on to ask questions. Uh, okay, huh? Okay, I'll let him. Chris sitting back here with the question. Oh, if you if you have any questions. <laughs> Just pop them on there and Kurt will get them. <laughs> you going to tell them what your name is? Is it Pudding King? No! Oh, you were eating a pickle a little bit ago. You had a pickle. For ear mice, uh, we use Acarat and clean and clean and clean those ears. We always tell people that I think we'd rather deal with fleas and lice and upper respiratory infections, some of those things that you don't like to deal with, but ear mites are tough. They're, you have to get every single one of those little bugs out of their ears. Kill them um, because you leave one or two and they come back. So when they first come in here, we clean all ears and then we, we use Acrax. Acrax is supposed to be a one-time kills all ear mites, but it, it isn't all that that good. So we usually have to treat them two or three times and um, be consistent with the cleaning. Revolution is also another good one that is on the back, but it also helps with the ear mites as well. Okay, tell me. Thank you, My mom and dad's doing pretty good. Um, just, I'm worried about the winter with them because they're already seeing how dreary it is. Dad, Dad really doesn't leave the house anymore, um, but they're they're kind of maintaining. I just want them to eat more. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, gladly. We're all out. All five of them were out some today. These two are about as whiny as what um, Weasley is. Yeah, you guys are all a bunch of Weasley. Um, Dolphy is the nicest, sweetest, quietest little kitty you'll ever want to have. He's wonderful. These are the two newbies. <laughs> they just whine. Um, come here. Show them how cute you are. Come on, this is Donna, and Donna has the prettiest face. Oh, you guys, we love you. This is Donna, named by Gussie, and Donna is D-H-A-N-A. -A. Oh, this, I'm just so weary. But they did awesome today when they were out. They were scurrying around and running and playing and batting cat's tails and were just wonderful. And then this one is Shaman, and this one is named by um, Bella. Yeah, aren't they pretty? But these guys did really super well being out today. Okay, okay, come on, let's go get the other two. Donna belong together because they're all three whiner buddies, babies. So you just like to complain, huh? So this is Weasley, and this one is Nuki. And Nuki's the one has that boo boo back here. It it is slowly, slowly healing. Can you hold this little Weasley a moment? 
um, this lady gets, I wish I knew what this poor baby did. We have to constantly watch this to make sure the litter stays out of that. Yeah, this is, this kitty's really laid back. She just, but she's tough. She doesn't let that awful leg bother her too much. And she, for the first time today, she came out as well. Okay, you ready to go back to Auntie Bella? Mama Bella? Come on. Come on. Oh, just stop. You're fine. <laughs> on, on Weasley, we're feeding him. I think he was bottle fed three times today. Uh, but he's eating good, and his belly feels good. He's just not getting a whole, whole lot bigger. Oh, Weasley. But he has, but he has good energy. He's, he's uh, scoots around here with all of them. Anything else, Kurt? Tuki? Oh, I haven't had any updates on on Tuki. The last I heard, Tuki was doing awesome. And I did hear one time from Merci, who's oh, new. Oh, never mind. She's alive. She's oh, doing great. she's doing great. Okay. And Merci's new name is uh, Mary. Mercy or Mary was doing really, really good. The resident cat was having a little hard time getting used to to Mercy. I think the resident cat really missed the other kitty that had been in the home that had passed away. But haven't heard back, and she was going to let me know if things did not work out. So I'm assuming that everything was well. But boy, she fell mad. The mom fell madly in love with uh, Mercy real quick. So I was so happy. And when they're here for that long, like the 11 months, um, I worry when they go into a new home that, that that the adjustment time will be a little bit harder. So that was a good one. The three, Nova, um, Marja, and Bettina are, the last I heard, which was, uh, it was over the weekend, they are doing good. And uh, I think they realized that we pulled a quick one on them on purpose, so they they got a kick out of that. But they're all three doing good, and all three of the kitties are sleeping on the bed all together, and they seem to be doing really well. I was wondering about Bettina, you know, because she was a little bit shy girl here, but um, she, they said that she's out and about. And speaking of kind of the behavior like that, you know, um, Badu, I think, has been doing a lot better. Do you think so? Do you think? I think Badu, Badu's been better. We've been just lavishing on more attention to her and stopping when she wants us to stop. And but she, I think, she's doing great. So we're going to still hope for a good friend for her. Anything else? Okay. Um. Yep, we'll, do, we'll run that by again. Um, tomorrow, wait, today is Tuesday. So Wednesday, they're going to come in and just suck up all the extra quartz that's on the top of all the flooring. And then they go back and put a new layer of epoxy on top. And then he goes, he'll go in with the quartz in the bucket and just, they just fling it out. And it settles down and kind of soaks into that epoxy. And then they go. They'll only be here about two hours tomorrow. And then Thursday, they come in, sweep it all off again, and then put, um, that would be the third layer of epoxy, and go. They won't be here long. And then Friday, the last day that they'll be here, they'll come back again and put the last layer of epoxy on all of it. We could maybe move in Saturday, but I think we might wait. Maybe, maybe Saturday evening or um, for sure Sunday morning if we haven't done all of the moving back yet. And then they'll put the new mop boards up, too. You know, I asked them today, well, how do you get on that epoxy to, to sprinkle all that quartz on there? And he showed me his shoes. It's just a sole with, like, tape wrapped around on it for his shoe. And then underneath, there's, like, spikes. They're bigger than what, like, golf shoes are so that he can step onto it. And he's above the height of what the epoxy is, so he doesn't mess it up while he's walking around putting all the ports on. It's really a cool system. I'm so glad that we decided to go with that instead of the way that we had done this. Good? Okay. 
Everybody's doing real good here. Um, we so much appreciate the donations, and Bella appreciates the cards. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Mary E will be in. We're going to try to weigh kitties and clean ears and do some toenails in the morning. And sometime tomorrow, i got to go back off to Mom and Dad. And I think, let me check the board real quick. Oh, sure. This is actually kind of a quiet week because we knew we were going to be doing the floor. And so <laughs> the main two doors are closed. Nobody can come in on those doors. So we have big signs out there that anybody comes has to go to the front of the house and or knock on windows and doors so we know that they're out there. Um, kind of a little pain, but um, that's the way we have to do it. And tomorrow, Bruce, who is with the company that's doing all the flooring, he's going to give us an estimate on all this so that we have an idea of uh, if it's even feasible for us to do. Let me get Bella. Oh no, hello, oh no, hello. Oh no. Okay, I'm off Okay, good deal. Whoops, Bella, sorry. And we washed uh, Putter's tail today, and it looks, looks much, much better. Look at that. I'll just kind of come in close a little bit. The only really red mark is right here. And today she, Bella totally made me laugh. She, when she first got out today, she was, um, went out and got on her marshmallow bed. And then she went back there. And the spiral staircase, kind of like what this one is, is back there. And she always climbs up halfway on it. And then she jumps a little span over to the counter where she, usually we have the bed there but we didn't have that there for her because we weren't expecting her to do that and so I reached out to get her to help her and she looked at me like I don't need any help and just as quick as lightning she scooted up way at the top it's like eight feet up and looked at me like you know you're not going to help me much more mom so she did good and then she came back down by herself I had to close my eyes a little bit she makes me nervous, but she's doing really, really good. Huh. You've got a lot of people out there that love you. She's a really cool girl. Let's go back in your room. Are you getting tired of those babies? Here you go. Here you go. Well, thank you everybody for everything. Um, since it's just 7.30, I'll just spend a few minutes and just show you a few kitties up close, just for fun. Come here. This one is Chia, one of the gray silver babies. Aren't I cute? Look at that face. And she's kind of kind of got that real light fur going on. Aww. This is this is Marvel, one of Jody's kitties that that uh, she hand raised. Aren't they getting big? You're just a loopy little boy, aren't you? Say anything goes. Isn't he pretty though? Well, thank you. Who is this one? This is Wonder. These are twins. Yep, but they're they're kind of friend twins, aren't they? This one's Wonder, another one of the uh, Jody's kitties. And I think she might be bigger than her brother. Show them how pretty your face is. Yeah. She's a pretty girl. Aren't you? And who we got here? Let me look at the face. This is Peach. This is one of Bettina's babies. And you can always tell Peach because she has that gold line down her forehead there. She, this is an awesome little tortie. All, all the torties I think we have right now are wonderful. Thank you, Jocelyn. Oh, this is very much one of my favorites. You got a, you're butt heavy, buddy. <laughs> this is Cobbus. I'm telling you, this Cobbus, he is a clown. He's the one, whenever you use the styrofoam plates, he crunches on me, crunches holes right into them. He doesn't eat them. But you, when, when I feed, like in the morning, pretty soon I hear this crunch, 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 and there he is, just gnawing holes in him. Cobbus, quit. Him and, him and Hudson are two 
Too ordinary low dickens. You're you're butt heavy, buddy. You're about a heavy butt. Yeah. This one's Georgia, one of the other tuxies. Georgia's the one that has the white, more white here. Oh, and she's just purring away. This is a nice kitty. So she's only one left of the three state kitties. Oh, you can turn your head upside down. Oh, you got there. You got on. Oh, thank you. Oh, you did good holding her, Jossie. This is Emmeline. Say hi, everybody. We worry about her. Her fat little tummy. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, you know we love you. So Emmy's the one that has um, the immune system problem. She doesn't does not have the right eye, and her left eye is pretty scarred. But you know she just she just fine. She said it's always going to be an issue if, if we ever get to find her a home. It's just something you know the new family will have to keep up on on um, working with it. We do it every day, a couple times a day. We clean her face and. Sometimes she has to have medicine, sometimes she doesn't. But you all know how wonderful she is with the kitties. Okay, thank you, Emmeline. Got somebody else? Oh, how about this handsome boy? Oh, this is Tasco, Mr. Handsome Dude. He's a chocolate black baby. Well, you're not a baby, are you? You're a couple years old. This is a boy that was five weeks old when he was found down at the river, and uh, he was adopted for, it was almost, I think it was almost two years. He did develop some potty issues at home, at his home, so they did bring him back, but they were so sad. They loved this boy, and he's been here for a couple months now. He's been helping me paint. Is that one helping you paint? And Tasco has not had a single, single accident here, so... Mm -hmm. He's, he's ready to start finding his home. This is Claudius, the little boy of the three silver gold or silver gray babies. You're going to be a tank. Listen to you purr. Listen to you purr. Oh, oh sorry, did I, did I press on your little windpipe there? No, you're just you can go sleepy time. These three gray ones. They are nice kitties. Who you got here? Oh, this is the other, this is the number three of the three that Jody raised. Um, this is the little girl, uh, Noble. You're sweet. All three of these are wonderful. And that's because they were bottle-fed babies. How about if I carry that one? heavy and hard for me to carry. This is our boy, the putter, our Himalayan boy. Now how much handsomer could you get? I don't think we can. His tail's much better. Oops. He says, don't show my tail. It's uh, kind of, he's still got a little bit of ointment in there. We'll have to give it another bath to get the rest of that oily part or greasy part off. But this, he's such a wonderful guy. He dearly loves to be petted and held. Remember how scrawny and naked he was when he first came after we had to shave him? Okay, go find the cat. little boy. Sometimes people get him mixed up with um, Georgia, but see, he doesn't have the white right here, like what Georgia does. Oh, and he's just pouring away. He's, this is a play machine boy. He loves to play. Don't you? Oh, you're so silky and soft. He's a pretty gentle boy. What are, what are we in now? 
the end of our seventh week, maybe, for Sarah. Oh, gosh, and I missed your medicine today, or tonight. We have to give it to you. And so far, seizure-free. Are you so proud of yourself, Farah? So, you know, if we get a good length of time in there where Farah does not have a seizure maintaining her on, you know, the right dose, she very well could be up for adoption, too, you know. Here, I'm going to put you here, and let's show them how you take your medicine. You can do it. wonderful twinkle and certainly not the last one that we have here she we wipe her face twice a day remember when she came in she had those horrible eyes this girl I'm so so proud of her you know we've got so much of the furniture from the big office over just all shoved over there it looks like a forest of cat furniture and I was really concerned yesterday about her finding her way to the litter box but She's doing it. She just pat, pat, pats and, you know, very carefully gets herself down some places. She's purring. I just, I just love her. She's just a really good girl. We're glad you're here, aren't we? All right, let's go put your hand. Thank you, everybody, for being with us. And, uh, Kurt, do we, are we, uh, Cat dumpsters right inside the door saying it's time to come in now. Um, have you just been even on the lawn all the time are we? We're, we're trying really hard to leave the audio on as much as what we can. Tomorrow's Wednesday, and it, it today it was probably, I bet you, four fifths of you had the uh, audio turned down all the way because of all the racket that was going on here with the floor. Be careful, scooch up. Um, but we'll we'll try again tomorrow and uh, see if we can keep it on all day for you all. Thank you so much for being with us. And don't forget to vote. Vote, vote, vote. Thank you. Is it knocking? It's, it's, uh, right side? I see someone in the tent. Or is it, is there a feather painting tonight uh, another cupboard door. I'll go find out what what thing she's going to do.
this one's a cool one. It's so long I can't read. I can't <laughs> memorize it. This is going to be dedicated to the volunteers, Kathy said. It says, a hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than oneself. So she's going to put at the top something about for the volunteers. Um, she does awesome work. Kathy is so, she's so fast and beautiful writing and the drawings and everything. She's done a lot of the things that's in here. Uh, someone was, who was that? That was here the other day. Oh, I think it was Nika, Nika Ross asked who did the ceiling. Kathy, did you do the ceiling? Yeah. That's what I thought. Kathy long did. Ago. Long time ago. And it's uh, You Are My Sunshine, My Only Sunshine. And it's she's got jewels up there, real plastic-like type jewels up there. It's just a really cool uh, ceiling. So that's it. I like this. Okay. Thanks for these. I know the volunteers will love this. We'll put these in the pen over there. 